Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. In the next few videos, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of explaining things from the bottom up, uh, we're going to look at how I would analyze a specific aspect of a specific track. Last month, FlySight user Tomic posted a graph on Instagram showing a base jump uh, with a flare at the end. This got me thinking about how we could analyze this data using FlySight Viewer's optimization tools. We're going to be using a couple of tools here, which I haven't covered in the short video series, but I have covered in longer videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, these are the drag polar plot and the optimization tools. Briefly, the drag polar plot produces a sort of fingerprint for the wing. It's defined by three parameters. First, the maximum lift the wing can produce. This is the mode of flight that you would be using if you were trying to maximize your flight time when you feel like you're balancing on a beach ball. Second, the minimum drag the wing can produce. This is the mode you would be flying in if you were trying to fly for speed uh, with your shoulders pointing directly into the wind. And third, the maximum glide ratio. Uh, you'd fly in this mode if you were trying to maximize your distance for a given altitude. Uh, this sits somewhere between the other two modes. The drag polar plot, the fingerprint we were just talking about, tells us how much lift and drag the wing will produce for any angle of attack. We can use this information to simulate a hypothetical flight profile. If we have a scoring method like flare height, then we can take that simulated flight and we can produce a sort of score for it. FlySight Viewer's optimization tool finds a hypothetical flight profile which maximizes that score for a given drag polar plot. Okay, let's translate that back into English to tie things up. We're going to start with a track from Tomic's fly site. From this, we're going to generate a very simple model of his wingsuit. And then we're going to use that model to answer the question, how can he fly differently to increase his flare height? In the next video, we'll start by looking at the drag polar plot for Tomic's flight. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.